we, we have repositioned the camera so you can see the uh, evaporator. And what we're going to do is step by step look at removing the refrigeration system, both the evaporator and the condensing unit. But prior to that, we need to uh, remove the line cover. The next thing we'll do is the evaporator has three screws. There's provision for four, but there's an upper right, upper left, and a lower left. So you might need to get a long Phillips screwdriver to get this lower left one out. In the event there is one in the lower right, double check, and again, reach back through there with a long screwdriver. The upper two we can use a screw gun for. With those screws removed, we should be able to... Oh, I'm sorry, I failed you. There's two in the front at the very bottom. So it might be best to use a long fill screwdriver to get those out as well. Now that those are removed, we should be able to move the evaporator completely around. And that's what we'll do. The next we need to do is move down to the condenser and remove the... Actually, it's already missing the nut that would help hold that down. Now that we have everything, we have the nut, actually the nut was missing in your particular case, you might have a slightly different configuration. In the back, on the back wall, below the louvers on this machine, are two metal clips that this slides into. So you slide it in and drop it onto this, and you put a washer and a, and a lock nut on here. But what I want to bring to your attention is, before we're able to move this out, a couple things we need to pay attention to. One is the cord, needs to be pulled through the back panel so we have that out of the way and then sometimes you have to be very careful underneath here is the uh, drain and that drain line runs across sometimes depending upon how that drain is ran it could present a problem because the bracket is done around one of the lines one of the refrigeration lines which will impede us getting it completely out so look at your system and see what you need to do sometimes you might need to take this 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 drain hose that's attached to the uh, the pan, there's a clip here, once you unclip that then you can reach up in there and drop the hose by removing the clamp, the screw in the clamp that is holding the uh, drain tube up in the air. So with the uh, cord pulled through and our drain tube disconnected from the clamp and also from the pan, we can now lift this condensing unit up over the pan, up over the bolt, and up over the cabinet lip here, slowly bringing it out. And what you'll eventually have to do is uh, lift the evaporator up up onto the uh, liner, sh liner edge here. Now if you look closely, I don't know if I can get you to see this, you'll see that this hose, this drain hose is actually wrapped around the lines. So we're going to move it around so it's out of the way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom back out so you can see this as a whole picture. With a better view you can see how everything is uh, situated and what we need to pay attention to is that the uh, evaporator, excuse me, the evaporator will come down and sit on top of the actual compressor. It'll tilt a little bit but you need to be careful with the lines, especially the capillary line which is the small one and then the copper line that goes to the compressor itself. The other ones are the electric for the thermostat and for the evaporator fan below. So let's continue bringing it out. A lot of times you can reach in here and then just grab the fan motor and one fell swoop, just pull it out. 